hello boys and welcome back today i'm going to explain that how can we create new pages into blazor server application uh, this is a simple blazor server app i created this application using blazor server template so now uh, let me show you by running it the existing behavior these are the default pages that will appear right over here um, home counter fetch data okay here is the functionality inside counter that on clicking of this button there's an increment of one on this string variable so what i want i want to add one more page inside this application and to do that what i'll do i will uh, expand this pages menu over here and i will add right click and add on new item and i will add a resort component you will notice here there are other things rather pages but it has extension of css html no i will add rather component and make sure your component should have name with capital letter so uh, i'm providing it the name my page dot rather and click on add here uh, we go it's created but there are two types of components actually every page in blazor is a component i should say everything in a blazor every user interface every interactive section uh, section in blazor is a component so there are two types of components number one are runnable component and number two are non runnable component okay sorry for my spelling mistake uh, over here okay we have two types of components runnable and non runnable to make it a runnable component so that we can reference it from the url we will add a page directive from here page and inside the directive i will write new page okay it can go in a small letter as well okay if you go into other pages like index you will notice it has a just slash that means it will be referenced from the root if you open the counter you have counter okay so let's change it to slash new page okay we have added a new page a new component a runnable component into our application but when i will hit the run button i can surely access my page directly from the url slash sorry slash new page on pressing enter my new page is there but the next thing i want to achieve is i want to add a menu over here to do that let's come into our navigation component where is it located open the shared folder and this is our nav menu bar the navigation component okay let's open this and add a new item i'm just copying the existing one here what text i want to display my new page okay and where should it fall uh, it should fall on new page url this is this should be same as i have mentioned over here this must be same okay now let's run this application okay now you will notice that a new menu will appear over there the icon is same as of the previous one because i copied that item right here and on clicking this new menu i have landed into this new page okay it's not necessary that you specify the same uh, navigation url name as of page name let me let me show you one more thing over here it is possible for you to change this name okay for example our new page but to uh, reference it on that location i'll also have to change our new page okay that's okay if the name of this page is my page dot resort doesn't matter the routing will locate this page from here that our new page will land on this url 
but on the other hand that's one more thing you can add one more directive for example i want that this should work on new page as well okay now these both urls new page and our new page will be referenced for this component okay now it's up to you that whichever um, name you uh, want to use you can use for example here from here we are referencing our new page but let me show you one more thing i'm going into index and adding a hyperlink to a new page okay my new page now our navigation is linked to our new page url my index is linked to new page but both urls will land you on the same page my page okay uh, let's run this application and check the behavior <clears throat> there we go if i click over here i have landed onto my page with url our new page okay now come into home here is a link my new page okay the same page appeared but with url new page and that's just because we uh, mentioned with the at the red page directive this is known as page directive that these both urls can be used for routing mechanism to land the request onto this page so that's it for the session thank you very much